One of the nice things, let's say I either needed to make a change to this graphic or I wanted to add a graphic in the system. That's now done right within the Metasys user interface and it's accessible through this graphics manager link at the top right. So if I click that, this opens up our graphics manager. This is available in the online and the offline mode. Doesn't require any software to be installed, no graphic generation tool or anything of that sort. But this is where you associate graphics to the spaces. So you can see here's our, our campus, building, floor, and you can see that floor one, the floor one graphic that we were viewing earlier is associated to floor one. I can change these graphics out from here. I can, I can edit them. I can add additional graphics in. Maybe there's two zones to the floor and I want two different graphics. I would go ahead and add a graphic right in here. Tab. I'm gonna go ahead, click down floor one and I'll go to that air handler one here. So let's say I wanted to put another graphic here. I can start from an existing template or a copy of a, of a graphic that might be in the system already. In this case, I want to I want to start from a blank template. And when we hit create, this brings us into our graphics editor. So this is a, a full-blown graphics editor. It's got all the sets of drawing tools. So all the basic shapes, arrows, things of that nature that you'd expect from a full-blown graphics editor. You can add images and backgrounds in, into this uh, as well. We have a full-blown symbols library. I'm just going to walk through a few examples here. There's basic symbols. So these symbols, these are value boxes that might change, switches, fans. Um, we've got a full set of airside symbols. So here's some examples of the coils that you can choose from. Fans. VRF systems, if you have an integrated VRF system. Water valves and sensors. So we, we've really taken a lot of time. You can see the level of detail in these symbols. Um, they animate. So, you know, if there's a, a status or something that's associated with these, they, they may animate depending on which symbol is there. I'm going to go back up to our packaged air handler and, and show you a couple of neat things with our graphics editor as well. So if I drag over. two pieces of ductwork. So now this is this is similar to the um, the graphic that you saw earlier. You saw that those components snap together. One of the other things, we don't, we don't want people wasting time lining up symbols within the graphic. So we put this snapping capability in the system. So all these snap right into place pretty easily. They can be moved. You can see they follow the, the, the line. This goes for the air side systems as well as the water side. So if you're building or making changes to a central plant or, or a hot water plant or something like that, the, the piping and the water valves will all snap together. Sensors, those snap into place as well. We can build this up really quickly um, and bind the data to it based really quickly. There's, a, there's another feature with our binding. So if you do have a standard naming convention on, on site that's used, you match these names up and you don't have to do any binding anymore. This, this comes in for free basically. So if, if the name matches, the binding comes in and you're, you're done. And it really makes it simple to, to build these graphics.